Have you ever had a dream so delightfully dark you couldn't stop thinking about it? The stories you are about to observe are real nightmares shared with us by our YouTube subscribers. It's time to lift the veil and see which shadows plague us when all the light is gone. Pull up a chair and get cozy as we enter the Nightmare Parlor. Thornius Submitted by Jerome Van Dorn
Here goes the devil Telling me to lie again Put his arm around me Says it's alright to pretend That you can get more than you give And here goes the devil Creeping in my life's design Said where does it get you Being such a damn nice guy I've been trying to reach you Ever since you bought that suit and tie The Operation Submitted by Lucas King 72 I'm being dragged through this hallway. I don't know why, I don't know where I'm going. I have never met these people, but they seem to know me. There is a door at the end of the hallway. With a loud hiss the door opens and a series of fluorescent lights illuminate a stainless steel sink in the middle of the small room. The door closes behind me and I notice the pressure in the room changes. I walk up to the sink and start washing my hands. While looking up I see myself standing in the mirror. When I'm awake I'm a school teacher in a small town. But looking at my reflection, I see one of the best surgeons of our time looking back at me. One of the guys in the room puts a sterile gown on me while the other opens a glove. One by one I put my hands in the gloves. A door at the other end of the room opens. A woman in a surgical mask walks in and guides me to a slightly colder room. The woman puts a gun to my head. Do your thing. Do what you have to do to save him. I lift a blue sheet in front of me and find myself in the middle of an operation. A surgeon whom started the brain surgery hands me a scalpel and takes a step back. There's so much blood, way too much. And with every heartbeat his skull fills up a little bit more. Suction please, I say in a raspy voice. The brain. Something is not right. I don't know how I know this, but the prefrontal cortex is off. It's significantly bigger than any normal person. It's also shaped way different. Without too much effort I find the aneurysm and fix it. Together with the other surgeon we close the skull and anxiously await to see if the patient wakes up from the anesthesia. From beneath the blue sheet we hear a few sounds, and then it starts to move. With both hands the patient tries to grab the breathing tube, that's a good sign. But the hands, they have oddly long fingers, the hands aren't human. I see the woman coming towards me, thank you for your service. When I wake up, I'm in the middle of a desert. I don't know why. I don't know where I'm going. There's no one around. My head hurts. Tooth Mary. Submitted by... Miss Jenny M.
The Devil is Patient Submitted by Mark Storm Think you can fix this fruitcake? <laughs> Get cracking. Get Me Not Submitted by J. Fresco Je parle des fois, tu ne m'entends pas Comme un écho qui s'évapore dans l'univers Sans retour, tu me laisses en voix Cloué, perché dans le vide de cette éternité Je pleure, je crie, je bois, même parfois Regarde vite sur les photos des belles années Je meurs une fois pas Je meurs une fois pas
So did you have a nightmare last night? Let us uncover the hidden world that lurks just below your conscious mind. Send us your nightmare or bad dream story via the link in the description, and maybe your dream is the next to come alive in the Nightmare Parlor. Good night.